The mobile gaming industry earned over 13 billion US dollars worldwide in 2013 alone, and it's far from reached its peak. The next viral offering is waiting to be developed, and these young hopefuls in the Caribbean are perfectly positioned to take maximum advantage. It's not game over, it's game on. The app development and web development is quite a dynamic market. I've been exposed to many opportunities that lie within entrepreneurship and within technology. Being able to create opportunities for myself as well as for others. With just a computer and an internet connection, these young people are coding their way towards a more prosperous future for both themselves and the region. I mentioned to myself, I don't want to go and get a job, I want to create my career. And it was exactly this determination that Digital Jam 3.0 was keen to capitalize on. It gives Jamaica a link into the fastest, one of the fastest growing sectors in the world economy as a whole. Um, for the first time, um, at, at least in, in, in my professional career, uh, we have a real opportunity to mobilize that entrepreneurial talent. Technology levels the playing field between size, location, and even language. What matters is ability, and the Caribbean is fostering a prodigious talent. I've heard ideas out there that, wow, if it wasn't me, I'd, if I wasn't in this position, I'd want to take those ideas, but it's amazing. Our job is to be the enablers to take that creativity, convert it into businesses, and earn foreign exchange and facilitate economic growth. Small developing countries like ours require this kind of innovation in order to make the leap that we need to make. Um, and so in order to get that, that, that leap going, we really have to empower the young people who are engaged now and facilitate their ability to um, help pull us out of the economic doldrums. So as the participants of this year's mobile apps competition pitched their creations, the judges weren't the only ones listening intently. They also had an audience of investors. So we would give them five, ten thousand dollars and we would really give it to the university as a, uh, as a grant. Unless we can get a, a culture of entrepreneurism, I don't think we'll ever really get sustainable, strong, long-term growth in this country. I think it's one of the most important initiatives I've seen in Jamaica, and I think that it has a tremendous potential. With individuals from across the globe looking to invest in the next viral digital hit, promoting Caribbean talent could mean that the next time these young people will pitch, they'll pitch for real. We want to, we want to use Crimebot not only as, um, as a way to make re revenue, but also as to make a change in society. The challenge now is to transform this talent into an alternative economy for the Caribbean one that brings with it a viable source of employment for the next generation.